everyone, welcome back. This short little video is going to focus on how to get a topic sentence. So that would be step two in our how to write a persuasive paragraph. Step one is obviously to choose a topic. And then once you have a topic, you need to write a topic sentence. So let's remember, just refresh ourselves. A topic sentence, right, is a single statement, usually found right at the beginning of your paragraph, okay? that gives the main point of the paragraph, okay? This is in one single sentence, it tells the reader what the paragraph is about. And in the case of a persuasive paragraph, which is what we're working on, right, the topic sentence shows the opinion that the author is trying to convince you of. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, the simple thing is, well, we gotta start with a topic if we're gonna write a topic sentence. So um, randomly, I'm gonna choose the topic of um, Harry Potter, because I love Harry Potter. So if here's my topic, right, the book series of Harry Potter, then I need to come up with a topic sentence. And to do that, I have to come up with my opinion on Harry Potter. I need to come up with something that I feel strongly about that I wish to persuade you of. Because the topic sentence not only tells you what my paragraph is going to be about, but it clearly shows you my opinion, right? So my topic sentence, when I think about Harry Potter, something that I feel very, very strongly about is that the books um, oops, uh, write in the Harry Potter books written by J.K. Rowling are far superior to the movies that were made based on them. Okay? So you can see it's just a single sentence, right? But it clearly it expresses an opinion. It expresses my opinion that the books are a million times better than the movies, right? So the Harry Potter books written by J.K. Rowling are far superior to the movies that were made based on them. Okay, that would be my topic sentence. One sentence, it clearly shows you my opinion. And then I would go on to write the rest of the paragraph and I would give my reasons. I would talk about the characters that were missed out in the book. I would talk about the, or missed out in the movies. I would talk about the inconsistencies. I would talk about the bad acting. I would talk about, you know, you name it. Um, I have lots of different reasons for this opinion, okay? You'll notice when I wrote this topic sentence, nowhere in here is the phrase, I think that, or I believe that, or in my opinion, okay? None of those are necessary. This is my writing. You know this is my opinion because you watch me write it, right? And the same goes for you. When you write a topic sentence, do not, do not write, I think, in my opinion, according to me, it's not necessary and it makes it less persuasive, right? When I read something like this, this author, right, is presenting it as if it's fact. And that's what you want to do when you're trying to persuade people is write your own opinion as if it's a fact because you're trying to convince people that it is, okay? So let's look at a, a different example. If I picked a different topic, right? Uh, let's see, what else do I have a strong opinion on? Um, Okay, if I looked at, um, if my topic was chocolate versus candy, right? And then I have to write a topic sentence. Let's just move that up so you guys can see better. I have to think through, okay, this is my topic, chocolate versus candy, and I have to write a single statement that expresses what my paragraph is going to be about and what my opinion is. I would say candy is better than chocolate 
because of the wide variety of tastes and textures. Okay. So again, in one simple sentence, I've told you what my paragraph would be about. If I were to write a, a paragraph about chocolate versus candy, I would write one about how candy is better. And you can already see my main point. It's going to be about tastes and textures of candy versus chocolate. So you can clearly see my opinion, right? You know that I think candy is better than chocolate. And I'm ready to write the rest of my persuasive piece. Okay, so when I sit down to write a paragraph and I start to think of my topic sentence, right, always my go-to is, okay, what's my topic? And then what is my opinion of it? Because that's what a persuasive paragraph is all about, is about you sharing your opinion and you convincing people, you persuading people, right, that your opinion is correct. So let's take a look at a couple of examples in some paragraphs that have been fully written, okay? So here's a paragraph, I'll just read it quickly out loud. Canada is one of the best countries in the world. First, Canada has an excellent healthcare system. All Canadians have access to medical services at a reasonable price. Second, Canada has a high standard of education. Students are taught by well-trained teachers and are encouraged to continue studying at university. Finally, Canada's cities are clean and efficiently managed and they have many parks and lots of space for people to live in. As a result, Canada is a desirable place to live. Okay, so this is an excellent persuasive paragraph because the author is trying to convince us, right, that Canada is one of the best countries in the world and it has offered a number of compelling reasons. So it's very clear what his opinion is and it's very clear the reasons why he has that opinion. So if I look at this whole paragraph and I ask myself, what is the topic sentence? I have to ask myself, what is the one sentence that tells me what the whole paragraph is about and that clearly states the author's opinion. Okay, and that has to be the first sentence right here. Wow, I need a better highlighter <laughs> so you guys could actually. But if we look at that first sentence, right? There we go. That first sentence tells me everything I need to know about the rest of the paragraph. Canada is one of the best countries in the world. Okay everything else in the paragraph has to do with that first original that first thought right that first sentence the whole rest of the paragraph is about trying to prove that Canada is one of the best countries in the world so when we look at that right it's clear that this is the sentence right here the very first one because one right it tells you what the whole paragraph is about right it gives you the main point of the paragraph And it also clearly expresses the author's opinion, right? He is making an argument, or she, I don't actually know who wrote this, right? Uh, that Canada is the best country in the world, or one of, right? So it gives us the main point of the paragraph and it gives us the author's opinion. So it fits both definitions of a topic sentence, right? So that first sentence is an excellent example of a topic sentence for a persuasive paragraph. Right. Let's look at a second example. Okay. Walking is an effective way to exercise. Walking three to four minutes every morning is a great way to relax. When walking with a friend, one can talk about the day ahead or share some challenges they are facing. Walking alone allows time to meditate and relieve stress. Thinking about life is easier without the distractions of the world. Also, walking regularly improves my general health. Fitness experts recommend an exercise routine to keep the heart strong. The effects that walking has on health makes it a great way to exercise. So again, if I ask myself, what is my topic sentence? I'm looking for one sentence that gives me the main point of the paragraph and the author's opinion. And again, that's clearly our first sentence here, right? Walking is an effective way to exercise. The whole rest of the paragraph is about that. And that tells you the author's opinion on walking, right? He's not saying walking sucks. He's not saying it's better than running. He's just saying it's a great way to exercise. Okay, so that is how we write a topic sentence and some examples of what it looks like in an actual paragraph. So remember, when you go to write your own, you're going to start with the topic and then you have to ask yourselves, what is my opinion on this topic and how can I write it in a single sentence? All right, good luck.